In handling solid chemicals, the first step is to carefully read the label. Many chemicals have names and formulas that are very similar. For example, Na2SO4 is sodium sulfate. Na2SO3 is sodium sulfite. KNO3 is potassium nitrate and KNO2 is potassium nitrite. Despite the similar formula and names, these chemicals have quite different properties. Erroneous data and potential safety problems could result from using the wrong chemical. Solid material is measured using a balance. The balances used at TCC are electronic top loaders. A properly calibrated balance is sensitive to the thousandth of a gram. Never weigh hot objects. The heat can damage the sensitive mechanisms and the convection currents generated will cause erroneous measurements. Never weigh chemicals directly on the balance pan. Use a beaker, weighing paper, or a weighing tray. We will use a weighing tray. Gently set the weighing tray on the balance pan. The balance can be zeroed again with the weighing tray in place so as to obtain the net mass of the sample. This is referred to as tearing. Gently tap the chemical container on the side of your hand to loosen the material. Open the container and set the lid top side down on the counter. This will avoid contamination of the lab bench and contamination of the chemical when the lid is replaced. Lightly tap the jar with your hand to transfer the solid material into the weighing tray. Do not place spatulas into the stock bottle of a chemical as this may cause contamination. If you transfer too much material to the weighing tray, do not return the material to the original container. You may use a spatula to remove the excess material and place it in a waste container. You must always remember that many groups of students will use the same stock chemicals. Contamination in one lab by one student can result in erroneous results for as many as a hundred students. Once you have transferred the desired amount of material to the weighing tray, record the mass in your notebook or on your data sheet. Never use a scrap piece of paper to record data. Remove the sample in the weighing tray from the balance. Re-zero and clean the balance. Chemicals can